Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. And what do we have back there? We got a nice little <laughs> milk bucket over there. Um, Arcadius has been doing some uh, out of town projects, and that's why he hasn't been on the last little bit, at least not uh, at his usual time. And I was commenting to him that when I was building our little mini smelting facility over there, I, I kept running into problems where there's a couple of spots over here that pillager raids or pillager patrols will spawn and there's another spot out that way a little bit that they spawn so I kept running into these pillager patrols and you know I'd kill them off and uh, have to go find a cow there's a couple that were hanging out oh well over that side of you know, the woods you know across the river and I got tired of flying over there or, or sorry, drinking, <laughs> drinking the milk first before I flew anywhere, then flying over there to find a cow to fill it back up again, and, and so he took that to, uh, yeah, I mentioned that I was going to tie up a cow somewhere over here, so he goes and builds this guy here, says here, you still got to go get the cows yourself though, so uh, I found these two standing next to each other, back where I keep hunting one down, and that means that we can now have a nice way of getting rid of uh, any of the pillager problems. Or at least uh, getting rid of the uh, bad omen effect when the pillagers inevitably spawn and say hello. And speaking of hello, we put an exterior around the uh, smelting, <laughs> the, the medium sized smelting job project. I threw down a lot more carpet. I got to get the waddles signed back up so that way credit is given every time we walk in here. But uh, part of it is to cover up some of the lighting. Part of it is to give the floor a little more texture. And I also went on all the furnace faces and uh, put a lever so that way as you're baking stuff you can lock it, get the item for the XP, and then unlock it again. That's actually how I got most of my stuff repaired, was I've been smelting up kelp blocks. So there'd be at least a little fuel in here. And that, that's been going pretty good. Also gave me a chance to test through the system, double check, make sure everything's working correctly, and it has been. So, and it's got a nice little exterior, a low, low roof. I'm probably gonna put something a little bit more, uh, with a little more lift to the roof. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna have to put a little something else on there. It, this is nice, but it's not, eh, it's not enough. Not enough, not yet. But uh, that'll have to be for another time. Also, if you follow my Twitter at Anon Jr., you'll see that I finally got Riest's little armor stand man over here back in play. Um, although, oh, come on, give me the book. Fine. I'll get the book later. Uh, I do want to enable the arms, even though they do look a little thin. It looks a little less ridiculous to have the uh, arms. Okay. Yeah, I'll try getting that book later. Anyway, so we got him back. It was a wonderful chance to learn how structure blocks work. I went to a backup and saved him in that little booth in a structure file uploaded that up to the server and got that going from there that was an interesting exercise to be sure I still feel like I only half understand it so uh, <laughs> I got a couple other couple other projects where that might come in handy like we used to have an armed guard armed guard up on, on top of our castle up at the top and I think I might use him as my next to see if I actually learned how to use it or if I just happen to guess enough stuff correctly. Either one is a possibility. Now here's our main project for today and I'm not sure how long this is going to take so I didn't want to over over schedule myself for stuff. I've got a couple other projects I can definitely work on if we run into time. But what I want to do is I want to take a couple of these guys, either side, doesn't matter, uh, not for these purposes. And we still got some of the glass box in place, which is great. But I want to take two guys from one of these two pens over here, and I'm going to have to poke a hole in the floor, uh, probably here 
ish and run a minecart down that way so we can get them through the portal and I'm actually heading to where I'm gonna go so I can build the track backwards because uh, I know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to remove those for now run some rail this way I'm gonna have to take down the door get some rail going this way I'm gonna have to figure out how to connect the rail from there to the rail over here so that way what we can do is we can then get the villagers to uh, head on this way and we'll be able to follow them in one of our carts and bring them on out to the guardian farm uh, it's one of those things that Arcadius and I have been talking about for a long time neither one of us has gotten around to it because well that it that is a fair amount of work but it's a lot of work <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this, this seemed like the right kind of project to tackle today. I could show off a couple of things that I did off camera to get the villagers in those little holding holding pens in the first place and, uh, and go from there. But I want to start kind of working backwards so I can make sure that when I send them off, I'm not getting to a spot and going, Oh, oh, oh I forgot about that part. Um, and I got to decide exactly how I'm going to do part of this too. I mean, besides the lag spikes. Um... I'm thinking that when I get them down to the portal on that side, what I might do is I might just stick a bunch of boats on either side of the portal. So that way they're likely to, to just walk into a random boat off to the side. And, um, and then boat them from the portal over here to the, um, to the guardian farm. And uh, I got a couple of beds on me in my sleepy box. I need to, I got to build a couple of barrels. Grab something and write down these notes. Short term memory something or other. All right, so I need. I need two barrels. I got some beds. This way they can sleep and whatnot. I'm... I'm hmm, that's tough. I don't know if I want to leave this as it is. And then just try to nudge them over here. I'm definitely going to have to cut that pressure plate. At least until we get the guy sorted. So that way we're not sending 80 bajillion minecarts back down the other way. He's not going to be able to walk past the portal there. And it's nighttime already again. Yeah, so I got to get them over there. My thought was to maybe put like a bit a boat here and here, and maybe one more on this side just in case that's the way he comes out, and then just boat him the rest of the way. Oops, if you have your rocket ready, and then maybe uh, maybe just put a couple of fence gates over here. That way I can just boat them and then boat them down. To the best of my knowledge, he should not be taking any fall damage in the boat because it's one of those weird Minecrafty things. Um, hang on, let me uh, let me do this before I run into problems. <laughs> it's gonna be my luck. That'll be in the middle of explaining something, and a phantom attack will appear. All right, so I know that corner is gonna be the one that's coming in there. So what I might do is I might I uh, think a bullet will go through a 2x2 two two hole, right? Um, okay, so I got those guys there. And you know what? Let's just check this. So I'll boat them in. Yeah, and then we'll come down here. There we go. Alright. I'll boat them in down here, and then I'll have to make a holding pen of some sort for them down here. Uh, ooh, I might do that first. I'm tempted to knock back a little hole and give them a stall over here. Uh, give them a nice little lit area. Do, do we have... Yeah, we got the crystals. We got the shards. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So we should be able to make a nice little first marine hole in the wall for them to live in over here. Because the idea is we end up with so much cod. All the cod. And if we had a couple of fishermen over here, we could trade with them. So we get, you know, one or two fishermen over here with a bed and a barrel and then uh, just, you know, let them, let them sit here and do their thing. And um, my initial inclination was to just let them roam freely around here. But we would definitely have to change all these wooden doors for iron doors or for uh, fence gates. Because I believe they still don't uh, manipulate fence gates. I'd have to probably check on that. Mm. But I know they can't open iron doors. But uh, yeah, if we left these doors, I could easily see one walking in here. He wouldn't be able to interact with anything over here. So at least there's that. But you know villagers and lava and yeah I just I just I mean look, he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to do anything over there he's not gonna really do much over here either but it's gonna be my luck that I finally get one of these jokers over here and uh and then he goes and falls in the fiery inferno over there and I definitely need to lock up this guy over here because this is a big old empty room which uh, occasionally spawns slime so I can definitely see some poor villager wandering in here and dying to a slime or some mob coming through up there uh, somewhere up there I don't know if Arcadia's finally got around to lighting that part up but uh we were over here looking at something and uh, he heard a noise and it turns out that it was uh, it was a uh, a bunch of mobs and a slime bouncing around in here. Of course I could just dress this room up too and put the villagers in here and that would get them out of the way but um, mm, ah, put an iron door there. Yeah, yeah, I guess I could just go get three iron doors. Iron door and a couple of buttons over there. Iron door and a couple of buttons over here. Because uh, I can definitely see him wandering over here, standing on that plate and chewing through all the bone meal. Well, now that I, now that I look, I don't see the input chest for the bone meal. Hmm. Huh. Alright, I'll talk to Arcadius about that later. But yeah, definitely don't want villagers wandering in there. Kind of like toddler proofing, we're going to have to villager proof <laughs> this area here. Alright, so maybe we could let them roam. Let's need one, two, three iron doors, some buttons. Okay, okay, we, we could do that. That's doable. That's doable. And this one we wouldn't have to worry about because, well, we'd have this this one sewn up. There's nothing else nearby. Yeah, so we just put a button over there. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, I should actually have in my power and parts box an iron. I'm going to use wooden buttons, and there we go. I don't know how much I can be. Alright, so we'll get some spruce buttons, we'll get some iron ingots, and we'll get one, two... Oh, wait, oh! <laughs> That's right. Short-term memory something or other. Not a block of quartz, I need blocks of iron back together. There we go. And... I'll assume that he wanted it on this side. Oh, that's too far, isn't it? Okay, that works. 
I'll let it move stuff around. Get back out of there. There we go. And I'm gonna need a couple more buttons, aren't I? Yeah. Because uh, I'm gonna need at least two more buttons, so we'll go here. I don't know why I'm going back to the crafting bench. I don't need to go back to the crafting bench, and it never hurts to have extra buttons. So let's finish toddler proofing this area here. And I'll put those doors in the box up there for him. That's the one with the button in a weird place. All right, there we go. So, no villagers walking in there. None should be going down that trap door. Nobody's over there, nobody's over there. We know they can take a boat through that hole in the floor. I've got the port slabs to go in there. So far, so good. Entirely too easy. Oh. Huh. I just realized Arcadius got rid of a lot of his boxes over here. Right, good. I can just drop those in there and those in there. And I'll leave those right there for the moment. Check on the efficacy of that joker over there, too. Alright, so... The nice thing about a lot of the stuff getting moved... Is it doesn't matter if water goes flowing down this way for a minute. Let's grab three of these guys, because what I was thinking of doing... Is something like this. Oh, 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 oh. You. Give me your trident. Oh. All that work and all I got was a lousy gold brick. anyway. Oh, hey. This is, uh, this is not what I came over here to do. Let's go ahead and take care of the nighttime thing. Hmm. Almost forgot. 
gonna need this box anyway. But more importantly, I think that'll be enough. I need to make two barrels before I forget again. now. <laughs> All right. Around and around we go. I know I could try to fly up through that hole, but uh, my flying skills are suspect on the best of days, and we seem to be having a little bit of trouble taking off here lately. Yeah, it's been good for a while, and it's been bad for a while, and it's been good for a while, and that was perfect because, you know, I was complaining about it. Um, and that's the way that usually goes. Alright, so we should be able to get them... Sorry, the ADDO butterfly is kicking in. Uh, I was hoping something else would be floating over there, but alright. So, we get them in a boat on that island over there. The idea is we should be able to take them over here. Boat them through the fence gates. And then down the hole. That is the theory. And I'll put these guys over here too, that way they don't get lost. I'll have to ditch some of the stuff that's been accumulating. But basically it's, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to use a boat because I really don't want to run a rail from that portal all the way over here. That's a lot of extra blocks worth of rail. And I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. So let me leave that there. Let me leave that there. there and he should collide with the hitbox of one of those guys and uh and get stuck in one of the boats that's the theory anyway all right i'm going to need at least two minecart where did all these extra ones come from oh yeah We've been having problems with the zombie pigmen <laughs> throwing extra carts over here anyway. So you know what? We'll go ahead and take two more. And one is going to go down with me and back. So that should be good. that. Let me pick up that plate there and put a button in its place. The button is not ideal, but it'll work. And let me just drop that pressure plate somewhere where it's not going to matter that, that, that it's there. Um, should give me a clear path to nudge our poor helpless villager over that way. Oh, I 
wish I had a storage item. Uh, <laughs> I could I could just take that barrel. Alright. Uh Bam. I should be okay once I get them over to that end and through the portal. I can definitely get them from the portal on as long as I can get them on the island in a boat. In a boat on the island. Let's take some thought. This interminable way is going to take a little bit of a little bit of time, but the nice thing is we got all this rail down. So that should move pretty quick. The next trick is going to be, how do I get them on this rail system without too much extra work? Yeah, there's always that caveat, without too much extra work. What I might do is I might, I might drop one of the barrels down that way and put all the minecarts in there. Except maybe one in the dispense. No, yeah. Yeah. This might have been better off stream <laughs> where I could talk out loud to myself and think this one through. Because uh, again, the idea is I'm trying to figure out a way to get the uh, get these guys over there with the least amount of hassle. I'm pretty sure, uh, like 98% sure I've got it stitched up over that way. Um... The only tricky part is going to be when they get knocked off the rail cart and before they get into the portal, they can definitely wander down a little bit. And that is concerning. Um, what I might do is I might pull this here. And then put another button down for the moment. Oop, that's not the that's not the one it needs to be on anyway. That guy needs to be here. I can put a pressure plate over there where it's not going to do anything. I'm wondering... I just try to push him in? No. That's not gonna... Alright. Could go. Just grab one more cart for me and run the rail down the middle. So it'll come through the door. Do, 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 down the middle. Turn another corner here and just put them back on track with that track there. Yeah. That might be the better part of Valor. Pickaxe isn't going to help with that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that might just be the better part. Alright. I grabbed a box of uh, stones so that way if I needed some extra temporary building blocks or something that if it got lost, you know, no big deal. Throw that in there, that in there, that in there. I grab some glass in case I need a clear blocks or something. Hopefully I will eventually one day clear that stone <laughs> stone box out. What I am looking for is rails. Right, let's grab half a stack of powered rails. Let's grab a stack-ish of regular rails. Doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, you know what though? Let me get one more power rail in here. <laughs> Look at that power. Now this being a glass block, the nice thing is, is he will continue to go through it. And I'll just grab this and put that out of the way. 
not flying anywhere just yet. And I'll probably need to do the same with this guy here. Nice thing about going downhill, you don't have to worry about powering it. slabs, didn't I? Seemed like a really brilliant idea at the time. Alright. Well, that helps anyway. Because what I can do is I can go like this. That'll stop him from wandering off in that direction. That'll stop him from wandering off in that direction. And... yeah, okay. So I can put that there, I can put that there, and there. And some power down that way. take him down all the way down to the other end so now the question is getting him in there safely um, I'm gonna need my rail box in a little bit anyway so let me put that away and that away grab that take over this way anyway. Oops. Alright, I'll fix it. I'll even these out later. Right now I'm more interested in making sure that I got all that squared away. So as long as I can get him on the rails, he should be set to go all the way through. So now it's just a matter of making sure he stays on here. And where did, uh, shoot. Of course I put that away. Let me grab a glass block here. Got a cart for me and a cart for the guy. Now let's put that right there for now. Yeah. So this way he'll come through here. And then once he is over here, I can slap down one of these guys, push him. He'll go through the glass block without taking any uh, damage. I'll be able to follow him and do the same. All right. I'd much prefer to have a cart over there waiting for him. But, you know, some great philosopher once said you can't always get what you want. Alright, let me do this, that. Let's go. Block that. Let me get one of these guys up. One of these guys down and grab my rail box. Get me an activator rail and some regular. 
regular rail and some power rail. We'll get an activator rail, a regular rail. Actually, all I gotta do is nudge him. I don't even need the powered rail. I just gotta get him to drop on here. I get him to drop on here. He'll go this way. The activator rail will kick him out, and it should kick him out into the portal. Good. I feel like I'm forgetting something. For safety's sake, let me take these down here. Uh, hmm. Alright, this is on top of the door. We'll just get that up there like that. Means we should be able to go straight up this way, right? <laughs> of course. And I blocked the way up, naturally. Should be that guy. Oh yeah. I just gotta get the uh, the rail to finish up over here. There's a sl nope. I thought that was the slab. This is the slab. I get the rail going down this way, and I set it to drop over there. Matter of fact, I can put that... Oh, cannot put that there, because the door is there. Should be able to send a rail in there. It'll pick up one of those guys. Hopefully not the guy, the one guy in the whole place he's got already got a profession. Um, hmm. <laughs> All right. So if I push a rail in that way, it should pick up one of those guys. Send him back out down this way. Should go down here, down here. Drop onto that rail, and I'm not sure if it's actually going to do anything. But I'm pretty sure I don't want it to automatically do anything anyway. I want it to stay on the rail so that way I can head down and nudge him into the portal and follow along. Um, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely... Uh, going to want to have his minecart and mine on hand so that way I can follow 
Alright, the moment of truth. Find out just how bad I screwed this up. Hello, Mr. Villager. You are about to be relocated. Yeah, that way. <laughs> I look so confused. It's okay. You and me both, buddy. Alright. Go on. Through the... There we go. That didn't quite go the way I expected it to, but sure. Come on, follow him. Don't lose sight. Is he ahead of me? He's ahead of me. Oh yeah, there he is. One minor glitch and so far so good. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to grab some name tags. All right, I'll have to take care of that later. I will definitely need to, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 okay, there we go. I wonder what the deal is. That seems to be the same spot we stopped the last time. Um, hmm. All right, my connection seems to be okay. I'll have to look into it on the server side. There's got to be something going on over there that, that's just... I don't know. I got enough problems for today. I'll borrow some more tomorrow. As soon as I run out of today's. <laughs> so this guy should become... Fisherman number one. Or is it a problem with using the zoom? Stop to find give me issues. Nope. There must be something about those areas that we're going through. Something that's running. That, that's not triggering until we go through it. Could be a couple of different things. Alright, anyway. We're coming up on our destination. Boop. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Where did he go? And why did we get bounced back that way? What the what? Oh. <laughs> All right, let's leave and come back and see if uh see what happened here. Ooh. the hell, dude? Come on. You're about to go to your new home. I'm going to send you to the good place. Where there's fish aplenty. You have no idea how much I wish we could take an emerald and, uh, <laughs> and lead these guys like that. Come on, dude. I know. Pathfinding over here sucks. Urgh. Come on, man. Cooperate. Come on, come on. Just gotta get you off the rail. Just gotta get you off the rail. <sighs> you, much like this show, have gone off the rails. Let's do something like this to keep you from going. Yeah, because you can't crouch. Nope. There you go. There you go. Pull this down before I forget us there. <laughs> oh! Oh good. You picked a boat already. Alright, Mr. Bob. Jim Bob, Billy Bob. Gonna have to grab some name tags on him back over at my place. Definitely gonna have to name these guys. <laughs> what 
kind of hair gel? Uh, a little beard oil. <laughs> and down we go. Beautiful. All right, and there we go. Let's do that so we can go like that. Welcome to your no home. Let's get you one of these guys down over here. Since you should be hanging around your point of interest. And there. We've got a box of beds over here somewhere. Well, hello, Mr. Fisherman. Oh no, not enslaved. He gets paid in fish. Don't know the emerald, and I really don't want the cook cod anyway. Uh, surely I have got some coal somewhere around here. Uh, where do I, I? Maybe in my backpack I got some coal? Yeah. I just need to get one trade with you so that way he gets locked in. Where'd you go? Hey there, buddy. And Nicole, I should have paid. Uh. Okay, so maybe I didn't plan this out as well as I thought I did. Yeah, I'm not. Actually, you know what? Surely, before I lock you in, I can find something better, right? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. String and. <laughs> Well, he certainly gets a safe place to live. All right. We do have the spider farm around the corner, so having somebody over here that trades for string could be very, very nice. Yeah. It's, uh... Do I have three emeralds somewhere? Yeah, I got three emeralds somewhere. Where's my precious... Come here, buddy. I want to lock you in on that string trade. All the fish he could wish. All right. Don't worry. I got another friend coming for you. I'll grab that right there. I'll leave that there for now. Probably put the coal back in there too, but I'll get to that later. And... Yeah, no. I'll toss that back up there just in case for the other guy. <laughs> ah. Maybe a fraternal order instead of a union? He gets this big empty space, fine art gallery, childproof doors, <laughs> villager proof doors. Well, they could try to go for some collective bargaining, but uh, there is a fresh supply of zombies over here that we could use to uh, do some price suppression with. <laughs> All right. Time to go get villager number two. Nah, that's plenty lit. Nothing will spawn down there. He's even got a nice pond. fishermen in the pond down there. It's one of those things we've been planning to do for a while now and just never get, quite got around to it. So we're going to get at least, yeah, some vacation, plenty of sleep, nice and quiet, the ability to contemplate life. <laughs> I don't know about insurance. I mean, assurance that we're not going to come down there and, um, Evict them to a uh, happier place. <laughs> I mean, 
and eventually we're going to come through and completely unlock them so that way they get all the experience and uh, we open up all the trades possible. But uh, I'll probably have to stop by the spider farm, pick up all the string to start working on unlocking that guy there before I start spending all the time on that. I definitely want to get villager number two over there. Man, this hallway is long. <laughs> But it'll be nice because we'll have an outlet for uh, for all the cod that the Guardian Farm produces. Hopefully, one of the the second guy we bring down there, we can get into something something a little bit more uh, advantageous. Isn't right. Uh, useful is not right either. What's the word I'm looking for? Hey, thank you for the follow too. I definitely want to get a couple of different trades in there. The string's only nice because we've got the one guy. Uh, sure, I will do a base tour in a little bit. Um, I had a couple other things that I needed to get done today. And uh, I definitely, definitely have that on the short list of produced episodes. That is one of the things that we haven't quite gotten to. We just started doing all the broadcasting and all that sort of stuff um, relatively recently. I want to say it was... Uh, oh, of course I can't do that. I want to say it was somewhere around April? In the March, beginning of April, that we actually started doing the streaming and uh, produced episodes are next on the list. We definitely want to get that done, and uh, by January, <laughs> excuse the mess, working on this uh, villager thing. Using redstone as a temporary block. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. There. There we go. Nice and a little bit better. I do have a YouTube channel, and it's got all the stream archives where I went through building these little villager farms over here for carrots and potatoes. Um, because uh, I built them based on information that ended up not being quite right for when 1.14 rolled out. I ended up with a um, surplus of villagers. Because <laughs> a the idea was, or my information was, they would only breed so long as there was enough empty beds. And so I had the two guys in there and two beds over here, because at the time that I'd set it up, the latest snapshot had it so they had to sleep to work. And um, the release, 1.14.3 or 1.14.2, I forget which one of the two it was, had a weird bug in it where these guys would just keep breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding. And so, yeah, they packed those two spaces. And uh, that was the end result. So I'm trying to make decent use of all the extra villagers here. I'm going to move a bunch of these guys into a villager trading hall up on the roof. Um, remind me as soon as I get this other villager over there. There was something else I was going to do while I was here. I was going to... I was going to grab some name tags. A nice little melon pumpkin farm tucked into a corner. When I had initially built this base, my intention was to... Uh, was to try to keep to the, the caves... the natural forming caves as closely as possible, but that didn't quite work out. Yeah. Uh, Bill. Bill and Ted. <laughs> okay. Maybe I work a little too hard at being self-amusing. Really don't even need two of those. I just need that one there. I'd feel safer with that. Alright. Let's get villager number two and then we'll start naming them. I should be able to run. Oh, I don't want the guy that's already something in there. Somebody already traded one of the two. 
server members already traded with a couple of these guys. So I got some people who are technically, who technically have a trade. Oh, there we go. You'll work. There we go. And momentum down to you. Down I go. Go on. Through the portal. Bomb. Of course we're going to hide in the corner. Hey, hey. Oh. Dude. Don't. You're only making this harder on yourself. <laughs> no, not a big server. It's a private server with just my sister and her husband. Yeah, and the three of them. Where are you going? Get, get back up. Come on. Come on. Get back up there. Get back up there. Don't make me hurt you. And we're probably going to add one more person in January or somewhere around that time frame. But it is definitely going to be a... Uh, seriously. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a, a private server whitelisted only. You know, the other guy was so much easier than you. He just walked right into the portal. Come on. Up you go. Up you go. There we go. You. <laughs> you can find out a little bit more about the hardware and stuff on uh, coffeecraft.us. And there's links to Arcadius's Twitch channel. Reyest hasn't had a chance to get a channel together yet. That is, uh, that is on the agenda. And yeah, this guy is being a royal pain for some reason. The last guy just walked right in. No problems. No fuss. Just as pleasant as could be. You good, sir. Not for the first time. I wish you could, uh... Either lead a villager or, or use, like, you know, like, here, hold some emeralds. Come on. <laughs> Dude, if you don't get out of that corner, I will punch you. All right, fine. I got the box of rail. We can make this happen again. What did I do wrong, though? Because he should have ejected out into there anyway. Uh, hmm. again. Hey! Ah! Doggone it. Come on, man. Why you gotta be so hard? Alright. I think what I need is... I need... Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go... place he can go is through there. <laughs> Alright, and go on. There you go. <laughs> oh man. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Go on. 
no, no, not through there, not through there. And away we go. There we go. Now we should... Wait, wait. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? What are you doing in this thing? You shouldn't have spawned anywhere near here. First one went way too easy. All right, uh, you know what? I bet could get right. Famous last words. <laughs> All right. Are you kidding me? Oh, that dirty, rotten villager. Lost cause. You know what? There's plenty more villagers. There's plenty more. he does, although he shouldn't. This one all the way through.
this time we should be fine, right? Yep, there we go. There he is. I don't know. Do you already have a trade? Are you already locked into a trade? Did I grab the one dude that's already got a trade? I think I did. We'll see when I drop a profession block near him. Like I said earlier, somebody, either Ray Astor or Arcadius, went and traded with some of my guys. Oh, no. Okay. He was just catching on to one of the one of the profession blocks that was over by my area. Good. Okay. <laughs> All is better. All is better. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have just dropped a couple of glass blocks along the way so that way this guy didn't run back, back down the tunnel. That would have been the forethought that uh, I had intended to do. <laughs> you see, boys and girls, this is this is where a little more planning comes in handy. I was not expecting it. Okay, so the activator rail with the guy I was having trouble getting through the portal, the activator rail should have dropped him off in the next available space, which I should have realized was the rail behind the activator rail. So I should have recognized that he was going to be a little bit of a problem. And uh, no idea where he went. This isn't the first time that something weird happened with a villager coming through one side and the other. So let me go ahead and go. Oh! Oh! Oh, he just hopped right on through. Well, okay then, good sir. I, I will happily, happily take you to your new home right away. Let's, uh... Let's get you to where you want to be. I was going to hang out over there real quick and rearrange a couple of things in my inventory for next steps, but with the drowned around, that's probably not the smartest thing. We can definitely do that here, though. Bill and Ted and a profession block. And I'll get a bed for them in a little bit. String. We've already got one guy that starts off with that. Is it the wrong time of day? Is it outside of working hours? Well, the sun is low in the sky. I both do and don't like that function that they've got going for the villagers there. Um, so if you're not familiar with the way villagers now work, they will only change their profession during the working part of the day. Come on up. There we go. Yeah, it's almost certainly at the end of the day. Let me go ahead and pick this up since once we got two people down there, we can breed up more if we need to. Uh, I'm not going to do any clearing on the other side yet. But I will come down over here. And where's the bed? There's the bed. I don't know. Looks an awful lot like nighttime to me. There we go. start changing your profession. I really need to get one of those lamps or something. I 
I mean, you can't possibly be pathfinding the barrel downstairs. You know, your pathfinding does, should recognize that it's there. I wouldn't think so. Didn't pick it up till I dropped one down next to you. Come on, bud. Alright, while well, you're waiting on that, I will glide down here real quick. Get Mr. Bill a name tag. That way he is highly unlikely to despawn on me. And it's either the wrong time of day. Oh, there we go. Alright, coal and the raw cod. Or is this one of those things where these are, uh, these are our options. Cook cod and fish. So it's either going to have to be string or cod. Bringing coal. Rock cod and an emerald. You know what? Pretty sure that's oh my precious box is downstairs. Of course it is. Alright. We'll play this game downstairs a little more. much better than that, but, uh, we'll go for it. I just need three emerald for, uh, for your trade over there. Alright, yep. Now you're locked in. So I can go do this. Move it down here. So we got Bill and Ted. Man, you're just gonna eat up some stinking emeralds, aren't you? Hmm. I need a bunch of those anyway. 
All right. Um, Breaking fishing rod. Okay, that could be good. No, I don't have any more of those guys. Uh, oh. Oh. Now he'll take the raw salmon. Okay. That, that's progress of a sort. there. Let me grab my travel box. I can put the boots away. Helps if you use the right tool. And let me go to... That's right. I need to go to my lighting box. Put some campfires away. something about those later too. Repair the hole in the <laughs> the hole in the roof. And then I'll go grab a bunch of string and see what I can get out of Bill. That's assuming Arcadius didn't do something impulsive like completely rip the uh, ceiling off of uh, the farm there. your water. Right. And somewhere over here should be the spider farm. And we... Oh! Um... The wool has already been pillaged, or the string has already been pillaged. Hmm. Alright, I was not expecting to have to do this, but let's get some string. I thought we'd have plenty over here. string. grab my uh, wool box out of the out of my ender chest and uh, if I can fly Ooh, 
There should be some string in here too. Unless that got pillaged. Alright, that's the gun pat. Ooh. Hadn't that been productive? That's not. I'll have to work on that. Uh, let's grab the string from there, right? Oh. Okay, so that's been gone through too. I got more of those things I don't know what to do with. Alright, let's sleep real quick. Let's see what kind of trades we got with uh, Mr. Bill. at the moment. Oh, let me do this. Let me grab these guys. And let's break some wool back down to string. Alright. Where'd you go, Mr. Bill? Alright, yep, yeah, okay. Fires as well, and you'll ah, uh, you'll take a raw cod for emerald. Hang on a minute, my man. Have I got a deal for you? Yes, sir. So you got Unbreaking 2, oh, and you'll buy Salmon and Cod. Glorious, sir. Glorious. Alright. Let's rack up those emeralds. And while we're here, get some of those guys, too. fish now too? Hang on. Oh no, we don't have enough of those guys. Alright. <laughs> and you'll buy a boat for an emerald? Uh, you'll buy the po three puffer fish for an emerald? Alright, now we're talking. Grab a couple of those guys and let's fill up on a few more of those. Get our full three trades, out, or full set of trades out of you. That works. Oh yeah, <laughs> one to one. Absolutely. You, sir. Gentleman and a scholar. I'll hang on to the salmon because I've used that for fuel more times than I care to mention. Or for food more than I care to mention. I don't want the rotten flesh. 
Need to get out. Where's my lighting box? Nope, not potion is. Lights. Put our campfires in there, and ooh, I got more than I can fit in there. That's okay. That works. Uh, block up as many of these emeralds as we can. All right. Not quite where we were before, but pretty close. Actually. You have one more trade in you, Bill? Oh, yes, you do. Okay. Wait. Uh, I don't have enough string to do that. Anyway, I do not want cod. Sam, I am. That's down to 11 on breaking two. Not a bad start. from Bill over there, so let's go ahead and try to level you up. on those. Yes, please. Let's do that. with your uh, thing there. There we go. Alright, so you'll buy those fish now too. I mean, I could get mad at spending all these emeralds, but uh, seriously, dude. zombie and convert bit. I could get even better prices out of them. But I'm okay with what I'm getting. I know. You, you need to go work with your thingy. That didn't sound right. <laughs> damage we can do here for now. I'll keep the cooked salmon. Let me put the rest of those in there, those in there. Alright, and clean up as I go. Nice. Alright. Only took of an hour and a half. Of course, some of that was uh, doing all the trades, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Put that up there. Let me get those bricked back up so I can get that out of my way. Around 
go back, that'll go back, those will go back somewhere. Okay. Sweet. We got Bill and Ted, our fishermen. Of course, we got those guys stuck, stuck over there. That's an idea. Suggest Arcadius building a, uh, well, pretend wharf with those guys in a little fishing hut. Uh, Some place that gives them enough room to move that they can trade and do their bit there. Yeah, there are some plans. There are some ideas. Uh, the nice thing is, is all we got to do is throw down a bed and give them some food and we can get more villagers. So if nobody's happy with what they got out of this... I didn't even realize I was going. He must be cooking up some XP. Alright, that's cleaned up. The hole in the wall is cleaned up. The boats are cleaned up. Right, yep. I really need the black ink, but I'm not going to chase those guys down right now. I'll have to take care of that another day. Uh, this is about as cleaned up as it gets. I don't know why those two are there, but, uh... So it is. Hashtag not my end portal. Alright, so I can now pick this up. And I can grab my plate. those guys and those guys because that's right yep that side went like that that side went like that then we had that guy and that guy and that wrapped around just like that we don't need the glass barrier Salt is still not quite right with those, but uh, that's for another day. I can take this down the other way, so that side should be all set now. Two barrels. <laughs> right. Time we got after, uh, let's see how much time we got after cleanup. Overall, that went pretty well. So we got two villagers down there for Arcadius to trade, well, whoever's over there to trade with. Uh, they will buy the fish that the uh, Guardian Farm produces. They should be safe in that little spot. Because everything is slabs or glass. So there shouldn't be a surface for the um, critters to spawn on. Uh, although now that I think about it, the tops of those barrels probably technically count as a uh, surface, don't they? Alright. Some of this has uh, nothing but empty space under the block that's under the rail, so I don't want to get too aggressive with the pickaxe, in case you're wondering. Alright, we didn't do anything too terribly radical on this side. We got some poor villager wandering around in the nether. There you are. Hi. He 
no, this is not safe. I don't know what to do about you right now. It was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. <laughs> okay. That was kind of something. Yeah, we'll have to do something about those guys too. Another day. Another day. First, I've got to fix... Powered rail right there. Alright, so that side should be all set. We should be able to put that there right now. Should work the other way around. We can now pull this stuff up. those there. Alright, so that is everything over here all taken care of. Those guys are why I had a couple extra carts down the other end at the start of this project. I do need to remember to uh, drop the floor or carpet the ever-living snot out of this place. Probably that option. Grab my door. Be neatly hidden. Dude. Okay, that didn't quite go as planned, but uh they can be mad. I am over here. Safe in my happy place. Well, safe adjacent, safe ish. I love efficiency pickaxes, except for moments like these. Where did the extra two come from? Did I dig up? Oh, <laughs> here I am. Where did my other slabs go? Perhaps they're floating right in front of you. I are a professional. And those three slabs should be from over on my base. Okay. So far, so good. Alright. Yeah, this is eventually going to be a uh, small-scale gold farm. Uh, throw a snowball at those guys. Get them to drop into a killing pit. And then, uh, and then just let them, let them die. Alright, that part's all set. stone goes in the roof. But the rain can go away. Let's start off with the... Oh, no, 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 because I still got some rail up above there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um... 
this is all set. This part's almost all set. I need to get, uh... Oh yeah, the two that rack came from... The, uh, furnace. Alright, that part's all set. That part's all set. We didn't really do too much down that way. I just need to come up here. And now I should be able to do this. Do this and go like that. And finish this clean up. Let me get it in. One more there. The doors are all set. Now the question. How much of that do I want to leave in there? There's a part of me that wants to go ahead and just leave the whole lot of it in there. For now. Because it's not like this is going to be the first time I need to get villagers out of there. So, yeah. Uh, I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the rail and the power in there for now. And as I pick up, um, as I need more villagers, I'll just keep farming them out of there like that, fishing them out like we did. I can now take the rails box and the stone box. Get those guys out of the stone box. There we go. It should just be, yeah. We got a rail and a powered rail in there, right? Yep. A rail and a powered rail, so that means all rail is now accounted for. Wait. Alright. Now the fun question. We got about 20 minutes left before I need to call it a night. Um unemployed villagers said. set my spawn over here while I'm thinking about it. Or not. Alright, just don't die. I'll end up at the bottom of that pit. Alright, let's get some of this other stuff put away while we're at it then. spot for campfires. Nice. Okay. And I should have a spot for some cooked salmon. There we go. something else. The stone can go back in this box. Sleepy time can go back in this box. Alright, so all in all not a bad day. Relatively productive. We showed off a little bit of what we managed to do between last week and this week. The uh, build around the furnace. The armor stand restored. Did a lot of kelp smelting. We got a couple of villagers over to the fish farm. 
or to the guardian farm and uh, do uh, let me get this guy where he goes there we go all right and so I'm actually going to go ahead and end it just a smidge early today, about 15 minutes early, uh, with all the things that I've got to do. I'm only going to be able to get started and frustratingly started. And 4 a.m. comes around quick. I do have to be up for work again tomorrow, my day job. Uh, so with that, I'm going to thank you for joining along. We stream, we, I, I stream Minecraft, CoffeeCraft on Tuesday evenings, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, on twitch.tv slash Live or mixer.com slash Live. There are links on the main anonjunior.com website. There's also a link to the YouTube channel on any of the three resources. So if you would like to uh, get notified when we do more streams, please follow along. Uh, literally hit the follow button or the favorite, uh, that sort of thing. It definitely helps boost the channel up. So if you'd like to see a little more interaction in the chat, um, wait, we need more people. Uh, realistically, most most uh, most most anybody only sees about ten percent of their audience actually chat. So if you want more interaction, we got to get a lot of people to get ten percent to be a fairly lively chat. Uh, so share the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do the like and subscribe thing and all that good fun. And if you're on the YouTube channel and you want to watch live, there should be links to the live channels down below. Uh, right now, I've got a Streamlabs donation page set up at live.anonjunior.com. I'm not sure if it's still working or not. I went to go make an edit because the schedule has changed. I do Coffee Craft Tuesdays at uh, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I do Games Revisited Thursdays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I, I didn't get a chance to do it last week because of scheduling, but I should be on par to do it this coming week. And for a while there, I was doing a World of Tanks stream on Fridays. That is currently on hold. I went to go edit it on the live stream, uh, on the Streamlabs page, and it said, huh, it, it was only free while it was in beta. Now, now you need to be a pro subscriber to use this particular feature. So I don't know if that works just yet. I, I, I would love to be a pro, pro subscriber to Streamlabs to support them. But right now, this is, uh, this is making me negative $16 a month. <laughs> and uh, adding another adding another negative 12 and some change a month to that it does not seem the uh, the best long term option so what I may do is I may make my own page similar to that with a uh, PayPal donation or something along those lines uh, that might be my weekend project uh, I've got a couple of things that I really need to do this weekend the week gets shorter and shorter. So, <laughs> all right. All that rambling to say thank you, goodbye, and uh, follow follow on Mixer, follow follow on Twitch, whichever you prefer, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>